What is up guys and welcome to another episode of the Skid Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Logan. Well not just Logan, but Old Man Logan. Before we get started, we wanted to let you guys know that from this week onwards, everything that we do, well not everything, most of the things that we do on this channel, uh, reviews, previews, analysis, all that stuff will be available in print as well starting this Sunday or next week. Uh, the link is in the description below, you can check it out, it will be uh, in physical print as well as published in you know a different website, the link is in the description, so check it out. With that out of the way, uh, we're going to talk about Logan, which comes out on March the 3rd, which is just a few days away from now. In this video, we're going to be talking about how uh, the story unfolds in the comic books and also how much do we expect the Logan movie to draw inspiration from the original comic book source material. So without further ado, let's delve straight into the world of Old Man Logan. Wolverine has always been a badass. This bad-tempered, foul-mouthed Canadian killing machine has been a fan favorite for decades. But what happens when Wolverine trades in his claws for the life of a pacifist? The Wolverine Old Man Logan storyline began in Wolverine number 66 and concluded in the Wolverine giant size Old Man Logan special. The plot in the comics is as brilliant as it is heartbreaking. Mysterio, Spider-Man's master of illusion who's often accused of wearing a fishbowl, made Wolverine see pretty much every major villain that the X-Men have ever fought raiding the X-Mansion. Unsure of where the other X-Men were or what the villains had done with them, he fought his hardest to try and save his friends. It wasn't until it was too late that he realized the scents were all wrong. It wasn't the supervillains he was cutting through, it was the X-Men themselves. This is what led Wolverine sheathing the claws and becoming nothing more than Logan in the comic book. The memory haunted him and he swore that he'd never pop his claws again. That night broke Wolverine. Wolverine, or Logan, drops his superhero moniker and costume for a farmer's life, complete with two children and a wife on the west coast. Unfortunately, he's settling in Hulkland, and the Green Goliath's offsprings aren't the friendliest of landlords. Taking place 50 years in the future, almost all of the superheroes were wiped out in a single night. Several supervillain masterminds banded together to take down all of the crime-fighting master vigilantes and then divided up North America for themselves. Old Man Logan was a story of Logan's fall and redemption, told largely through a cross-country road trip that saw Logan team up with a blind Hawkeye. And so their journey begins and we see the extent of the devastation around North America. What happened when the heroes died out and why the X-Man known as Wolverine no longer exists. If you're familiar with George Miller's Mad Max series or even post-apocalyptic media in general, you'll be right at home with Wolverine Old Man Logan. While it may be cliched in its utilization of dust bowls, dilapidated structures and the scourge that live in the wasteland, it is the way in which the story is told. Mark Miller is a master of words and brings characters to life in ways that will not only surprise readers but make you fall in love with the insanity of the villains, or what's left of them. As far as the upcoming Logan movie goes, it is obvious from the trailers that the movie is loosely based on the comic book. The mutants are gone, Logan is mostly alone, and the world seems to have seen better days. Any hope and optimism that the good guys would overcome in the previous films seems to have been lost by the time Logan takes place. At the moment, a direct movie adaptation of the Old Man Logan comic book cannot be made by any film studio due to the rights issue. Several major characters who appear in the comic books, including Hawkeye and the Incredible Hulk, are part of Marvel's Avengers film franchise and therefore aren't available to be used as part of the X-Men movie franchise. Keeping this in mind and looking at the trailers for Logan, are the only commonalities between the movie and the Old Man Logan comic book an old grizzled Wolverine, a road trip theme and a future setting? Or is there more to it? The movie seems to center around one last act of heroism from Logan and Professor X. 
trying to save a young female mutant played by Daphne Keene from being hunted down and captured or killed. It has now been confirmed that Daphne Keene will play as Laura Kinney or aka X-23. Who is X-23? She is a clone of Wolverine. Like Wolverine, X-23 has a regenerative healing factor, senses, speed and reflexes. She also has retractable adamantium coated bone claws in her hands and feet. Cloned from a damaged copy of Wolverine's genome, X-23 was created to be the perfect killing machine. For years, she proved herself a capable assassin working for an organization called The Facility. What we've seen of Logan so far suggests that there may be a similar tragic backstory to what was featured in the comic books. But beyond that, it's telling its own story. Does that mean that the end result will be nothing like the comic books? Not necessarily. There are elements from the comic books that we catch glimpses of in the trailer, and some of the overall themes of Old Man Logan seem very much in place in Logan the movie, even if different characters are involved. Logan will miss some of the bigger action scenes from the comic books, but it will certainly supply its own to replace them. Given its R rating, the action will likely be much more brutal than what we've seen in the previous X-Men films. Logan won't be holding anything back once he finally does get back into the fight, and even though we won't see him kill the Red Skull with Captain America's shield, as in the comic books, the action should still be what you would expect from a tired and angry Wolverine. There's no word on whether we'll see another Wolverine at some point in the movies, though after 17 years, the character could certainly use a break. Until he's recast or otherwise brought back, Logan will stand as the final Wolverine story, for good or for ill. Old Man Logan is the perfect inspiration for that, since it gives the character a sense of closure and lets him finally feel the age of all of his adventures. Given how hit or miss some of Wolverine's appearances have been, this is how Hugh Jackman's take on the character needs to go out, not as the Wolverine, but as Logan. I'm a little emotional now. You know, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine came out in 2000 with the first X-Men movie and I still remember watching it for the first time and thinking to myself, this is so awesome. Finally, a comic book movie that builds a further, bigger comic book universe. The first X-Men movie was the beginning of everything that we're seeing in the superhero movie genre these days. And Wolverine was one of the key players in that movement. As far as we know, this is Hugh Jackman's last hurrah as Wolverine and it's gonna be really sad. So Logan comes out on March the 3rd and hopefully I'll see a lot of you guys in the theaters as well because I'll be there first thing in the morning. And before I let you guys go, just wanted to remind you again to check the link in the description below because our reviews and our previews will be available in print as well as published on a different website. And as always, if you want to see more content, please do like this video and maybe you can subscribe to this channel. That will help us a lot. So until next time, I will see ya!